Hi, I'm Soledad O'Brien from CNN. This is an opportunity to bring small business owners together with people who have been wildly successful as business leaders. And as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, it's a great opportunity to have a conversation about what works, what works when it comes to technology, what works when it comes to strategies, what works when it comes to entrepreneurship, and really just get people in a room together uh, doing what they do best, which is to network, get advice, and support each other. For me, uh, as a Latina and as a woman who's also black, my mom is black and Cuban, my dad is white and Australian, I think I've had a special opportunity to do documentaries that tell stories of diverse communities. So sometimes we're doing stories uh, about uh, our Latino in America 1 and our second documentary, Latino in America 2, which just aired, was about a young woman from Houston, Texas who wants to be an Olympic star in boxing, first time boxing is offered in the Olympics, which will be in London 2012. Uh, black in America 4 is going to air in November, and that's a look at uh, entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs who are trying to make it in Silicon Valley. So I think I think as a, as a woman who's a Latina, I've had an opportunity to tell stories about diverse populations that maybe wouldn't get a voice otherwise. And so again, I think that's a tremendous opportunity and, and in some ways a responsibility too. I'm a child of immigrants. I'm a first generation American. So my thoughts on immigration are thumbs up to immigration because if it weren't for immigration, I would not be in this country. When you're talking about the immigration debate that is raging right now in Washington, D.C., you know, that's kind of the $64,000 question, what's going to happen? I think right now what we're seeing in politics is just a big hot mess and I don't know that people are truly committed to making genuine change. I get the sense that people are truly committed to getting on TV at night and <laughs> having a lot of drama in their conversations so that they get coverage um, because I think a lot of, a lot of what is involved in a solution is people closing themselves in a room and having conversations because they are trying to do what's best for the country. Genuinely, thoughtfully, and people can come on all sides and try to figure that out and work through a reasonable solution. What that is, I do not know, but I do not get the sense at this moment that people that are elected officials are genuinely trying to do that. Someone said, Thomas Friedman actually um, said the other day, a great quote, he said, I feel like the country is going through, you know, is dealing with an economic crisis and our politicians are, are dealing with an election. You know, and like, I think most people would like people in a room to deal with the economic crisis, to deal with immigration, to deal with social security, to deal with every single issue. Healthcare, those are serious issues. Stop playing politics and let's try to work them out. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I was very excited when Verizon asked me to come and host because that's what I do. I love doing interviews and I think to have a chance to bring business leaders with people who want business advice is a really great use of my skills. Uh, I have a great iPad 2 that, um, I'm using for the night, but I'm hoping to take it home in my hand. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'll give it back. Uh, no, you know, but I, I think that it's really uh, a, a great opportunity to have a serious conversation with people who've demonstrated tremendous success and ask the questions that I think the audience would want to ask and also, of course, open it up to the audience as well. And I am also very excited that Latin Recap has given me the opportunity to talk about it. I appreciate it.